one activity once a day could decrease your risk for heart attack and stroke even about as much as a medication for high cholesterol pain? Yes, at least according to a very large study in the UK that looked at nearly half a million people came out late last year. This activity can take a minute of your day or even less and potentially can be as effective as, yes, you heard it, a high intensity statin medication. But this is without the side effects like muscle aches, liver injury, or taking money out of your pocket. Well, there might be some muscle aches. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. Where I do this activity every single day, unless I'm off. I guess I do it at home, so. I, yeah, I guess I do it at home. The hospital. Make my way downtown, driving fast, driving fast, wait, there's a slowdown. Da -na 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 we're coming up to the most popular elevator bank in our hospital, but we're skipping that in favor of our life-saving activity. Yep, the beautiful, wonderful, healthy stairs. I work out of a room on the seventh floor usually. From the entry floor to the seventh floor is about 350 stairs. Bruh. Yes, I counted them. It does not take me less than a minute to get up there, but it does not take 350 stairs a day to decrease our heart attack risk either. It's less. How much less? Let's find out. Yep, that's it. 50 steps. 50 steps a day to 20% decrease risk of future heart attack. Again, statins similarly decrease risk by about 20%. Similar amount, but no side effects to your liver, no cost to your wallet, maybe just some muscle aches. But these are the good kind, the kind that we want. Let's look a little closer at that research study. It was a prospective study out of the UK that surveyed over 450,000 people about their stair climb levels and health at baseline and then followed them for 12.5 years after to see how stair climbing affected ASCVD risk. ASCVD, by the way, is short for atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. It puts together various factors that can lead to heart attacks and strokes, including age, BMI, cholesterol levels, active or prior smoking history, high blood pressure, and more. These people were asked the basic question. In the last 30 days, how many stairs do you take on average? 10 stairs was counted as one flight, so five flights would be 50. Yeah. Now, caveat here. They were looking at primary prevention, stopping people from having heart attacks or strokes in the first place which is the best kind of prevention. They did exclude anyone who already had a stroke or MI in the past. It definitely doesn't mean that stair climbing wouldn't help you. If anything, it would mean it probably could help you more. So I do kind of wish they included these folks as like a second category to see how they did and assess for benefit for what we call secondary prevention. But I mean, hey, I didn't run the study. So anyways, after the 12.5 years, they retested these folks and counted up how many strokes or heart attacks they might've had in that time period, as well as just their overall general health. And what they found was pretty amazing. They found that anyone who took 50 or more stairs a day had their ASCVD risk percent decreased by 20% or more. Now, of course, no study is perfect. Neither is this one. Asking people to remember how many stairs on average they climbed every day in the last month is going to be subject to recall bias. And there's no way of knowing if some of those stairs were taken all at once or throughout the day, not, not with the data we have or that was given in the study. But of course, throughout the day is probably more likely. Only crazy people like me do, you know, so many steps when they first get to work in the morning. But even so, one limited activity like stair climbing is much easier and much cheaper than medications or gym memberships and way less than, you know, that purported goal of the 10,000 steps a day. Forget the 10,000 steps a day. Okay, maybe also walk 10,000 steps a day. Probably it's not, you have more benefit. It's 30%, we should do that study. We're not gonna do that study. This also wasn't the only study that showed benefit in stair climbing. 
To mention a few others, another UK body bank study showed that 110 to 150 stairs a day could decrease type 2 diabetes by 14%. Another showed modest benefit and decreased all-cause mortality. Uh, a Japanese perspective forward study showed that people who used stairs versus the elevator had a lower risk of going into AFib, which is an abnormal and dangerous heart rhythm. And there are more, and I'll link all the studies I saw in the notes below, as well as this one, of course. So in conclusion, to keep it short, because I want to go shower and sleep and, and do other things before the wife brings the baby home and the baby starts crying. Uh, next time you see an elevator, consider taking the stairs instead. It might save your life one day. And you might run into me on the stairs. Some people might not think that's a good reason to take the stairs, but like and subscribe. There's a cat at the end of this uh, pen. I like this pen. My wife gave me this pen.